Edgar Perez is author of Nightmare on Wall Street, and he joins me now from New York. When we, when we look at what has been happening and we talk about this, you don't believe it's rigged? Richard, the markets, if we follow that definition of rigged, it could be rigged from the moment we started trading stocks. Because remember, when there were some wars and uh, people expected prices to go down, the Rothschild used pigeons to transmit the information from one place, from the battlefield to the trading financial centers, and they were able to trade ahead of other people. What I'm saying with this story is that people are using technologies available, legal technologies available, to get an advantage, to keep an edge. And that happens to be also the no. use of technology at this moment. Right. The problem with this is, though, Edgar, the problem is the markets are making this up because technologies are moving so fast. Five years ago, ten years ago, this high frequency, yes, there was computer trading, there was program trading, there was portfolio trading, but the high frequency trading didn't exist in the same way. So is the market keeping up with rules and regulations to ensure a fair deal all round? High frequency traders are born because of regulations. Remember, 2005, that's where we had a big change in the U.S. stock markets when we allowed this competition. Forty years ago, we only had a new stock exchange. Then we had NASDAQ. Now we have four, three exchanges. We have many dark pools, many different venues, broker sponsor venues also for people to trade. So there is more competition. True, some people are using technology to get ahead, but that's not exactly deterministic. They are using models to estimate people who are going to be trading up or down, to calculate, to trade sort of ahead. But right. that's discounting the fact that people are getting paying less in commissions. So if you talk to a retiree, he will say, yes, I might pay one penny more for my share but when I'm buying this. But at the same time, they're paying less in commissions. And that's something recognized by also the mutual no, fund companies. No, 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 no. As a matter of, you're talking about practicalities, Edgar. You're talking about, I might pay a penny more for a stock, uh, for, for a share, but I'm paying less on the commissions. But that's the effect of deregulation on a matter of strict principle is it right that a high frequency trader gets to go to not only gets to the front of the queue pushes ahead of you because of technology but in doing so as a matter of principle can push up the price of the stock what I'm saying is that the high frequency trading does say no that's gonna happen for sure they have models. They are estimated that certain people will be trading this stock, and therefore they are estimated the price they are expecting to pay. So they are given an offer or an order to, that is going to go before this person. So they might be wrong, they might be right. They have the technology to be faster, and most of the time, that's true, they are right. That's why they are making millions of dollars. Well then, well then they should be stopped. Or at least the rules should balance it out. Because if they know in reality, whatever the theory, if they know in reality they are going to be able to get to push ahead to the front of the line, push up the stock and somebody else has to pay for, I think you have to accept that is not a fair game. Richard, I would encourage you to read my book, Nightmare on Wall Street, where we talk Ooh. exactly about these type of situations. As I said, high frequency traders are using technology that is right. available to any financial player. I'm a retail investor, and I really don't complain because the fact that I'm getting more liquidity in the markets is thanks to the technology advances of the last decades. It's true. Some my people might say, oh, you're getting ahead of the queue and you're paying less for that, or you're paying, increasing the price for other right. people. But again, that's happening because it's not deterministic. It's just a possibility that you're going to be able right. to get ahead of the queue. Hold up the book so we can see it. Hold up the book. Let's have Nightmare a proper on Wall Street, it. it's a book that actually talks about the progress of technology Fine. in this Send field. me a copy. Send me a copy. I'll read it and we'll talk more about it in the future. How about it that? will be my pleasure to do so, Richard. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me there. Well, I got a free book out of it, if nothing else. I may lose out on my stocks and my shares and my pensions on what Michael Lewis calls is a rigged market, but at least I got a free book.